To Mars, one human family. Jupiter, one human family. I forgot asteroids, one human family. Saturn's rings, one human family. Look different in here. Kuiper Belt, no, and Neptune, Uranus, Kuiper Belt, Pluto. Planet nine. And back to Earth. Here we are, one human family. To the moon, one human family. Back to Earth, one human family. And I got big news. Cape Canaveral, one human family. Cape Canaveral, one human family. That's right. That is right. Can you believe it? Guess what? Great googly moogly. We are on our way. Big announcement. That's an understatement. Check it out. Look it out. Look, look. The uh, Hubble telescope, deep space field is, is gone. Everything's packed up. There is the, uh, the, the Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto all gone. That's packed up. Oh, wow. What do you think is taking place? What do you think's happening in here? Look, all the stuff is, look, there's my bags. My computer's going in there. We're in Los Angeles. This is Spaceship Studio, Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles, California. Look, the closet packed up. Oh my Google, so much. Got a special secret project going on right here. Secret project, hide, hide, hide. Top secret, you will soon find it. You will soon find out. And uh, gimbal is packed away. I'm using the handheld today. So we, we got a little bit of a jitter going on and that is a-okay because you are worth it. And, I'm, and I haven't spoke with you in a while. There's been so much going on. Well, let me tell you. You ready? Are y'all ready for this? Gotta move some stuff around. You know, first of all, shout out to our our sponsor, Yuri's Night. So if you go to yurisnight.com, you'll see this, and it's super important. And uh, April twelfth is Yuri's Night, and people around the world throw Yuri's Night parties every year. In fact. I throw one with my buddy Ryan Robertson and the whole Yuri's Night team in, at Cape Canaveral. We didn't do it this past year because it was a pandemic. And we did a live, we did a Zoom, a big giant virtual Zoom Yuri's Night this year in 2020. And uh, so the next one's coming up soon. So I want to give a shout out to Yuri's Night. All of these astronaut adventures have been partially sponsored by Yuri's Night. So... And that's Yuri Gagarin right there. That's the logo. <laughs> and I got more news about that. Oh my goodness. There's a giant echo in here. Pop, pop, pow. Because uh, everything is, is packed away and sent. It's already, it's already shipped out. I'm, uh, I leave on, a, on an airplane on Friday. And that is right to Cape Canaveral. We're going to Cape Canaveral. Astronaut Adventures is moving to Cape Canaveral. Cape Canaveral, gosh. So, you know, my friends, uh, United Launch Alliance, they, they fire rockets to space, like this one, the Atlas Starliner. And there's ULA right there. ULA stands for United Launch Alliance. And ULA, they, they are really generous with me. They let me, they send me these cool stickers to send to you. And in the before, I used to bring them to classrooms and and all those, the cool uh, remove before flight tags. Remember those? Those are awesome too. I always carry those around because you never know when you're going to run into a student that wants to be an astronaut. So here is the ULA launch, remove before flight. Like, so these, these are actually, these are, these are real. 
So this is this these these are these plastic tags that are on spaceships on moving on small moving parts and and on some aircraft. Uh, that's where they started these remove before flight tags that we kept used to hold small moving parts in place that we don't want moving until the aircraft or spacecraft is in motion. So these are all over there, and then we take them off before the before the launch. And they made these cool keychains, and that I pass them out to students, and I think they're the greatest. Students also think they're the greatest. So, as I was saying, United Launch Alliance, ULA, and I, they're always really generous with me. And so, they work with me as a sounding board. Like, if I have some cool ideas having to do with you, you and I, the Launch Alliance, Tori Bruno, um, uh, Jessica Rye, um, Amanda Sterling, uh, my friend Bernard Cut- Cutter, our friend Bernard, Bernard who was a uh, cutler who is um, the most amazing rocket scientist who passed away earlier this year. Remember him. We'll never forget him. And, and Bernard Cutter. And, and, and I, have, I have ideas. I have ideas that I run past United Launch Alliance all the time. And they're so generous that they give me their time to let me bounce these ideas off about how to inspire students about tomorrow's jobs in space. Because ULA is dedicated to helping students achieving their dreams, space dreams, and becoming space science professionals like you. This is a real thing. They launch rockets. They're, they're the U.S. is, they're one of the, one of the top launch providers in the United States. Certainly, if not number one, they, they are dependable and dedicated and they're very community, community and student directed. In fact, I met Tori Bruno for the first time, I think in 2014. 15, maybe 2014, at maybe 2016, 2015. I'll look it up. At uh, uh, Space Vision, said Space Vision at Purdue University. And um, that's the university, the engineering department that, that uh, Neil Armstrong graduated from. First human being to walk on the moon. So that's a good place. That's an auspicious place to meet Tori Bruno. Uh, Cyan Proctor, our friend, uh, my friend, she... And I spent a little time with him, uh, goofing around after he gave an amazing keynote. He's very generous with his time and, and always talking with you, with students, to encourage you to pursue careers, space science, technology, engineering, mathematics, art and business careers in space and science. So, like I said, I use, you know, I use that, I draw upon that resource. I ask them ab- about ideas. So presently, at this time, there has been no person in the in Cape Canaveral and in uh, at Kennedy Space Center that isn't NASA non NASA person that is communicating about space jobs and space events with young students. How about that? And so I have some really good ideas about doing that, seeing as we've been doing it for thirteen years now. Me, you, and your peers. That's uh, the people who were in primary and middle school and high school before you and college. And then the people who are in primary, middle and high school now and college. And then the people who will soon be in, they're probably in primary right now and soon be in middle and high school and college in the future. So I get to work with you all the time and ULA gets that and they want to make a connection. And so they let, they send me cool stuff to get, to get to you to, so that you can do some research and find out what about, about space jobs. And one thing led to another, and I'm going to move to Cape Canaveral. I'm moving to Cape Canaveral. What? So good. I'm so excited. Oh my Google. Great googly moogly. I'm so excited. And we have done 49 episodes plus little mini episodes of Astronaut Adventures right here live from Spaceship Studios in Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles, California. And we, we did the entire pandemic right here. Space mission, quarantine as space mission training. And we've got a big surprise coming up. I just want you to know about it. It is September right now. And by December, we're gonna have something really amazing coming out, okay? Okay, cool. Who is the we? That's the question. We're working out those details right now. And that is, I just wanted to, I just wanted to touch base with you and let you know what's going on 
I don't think it, it's really cool just to surprise students and, and, and leave you hanging in the lurch. You've been there this entire time. I'm committed to you. And so we keep each other up to date on what's going on in our lives. As a matter of fact, I get a lot of reach out um, on Instagram in particular. Instagram is crazy. I get so many DMs on Instagram about students who want to live, work, and play in space. There's one student who's really impacted me. Uh, there's two, actually. Anish, he, he, uh, he has a new video of how to grow jasmine. He wants, he's, I think he's going to be a space botanist. He's fantastic. And uh, I really like that about him. And Anish D., I'll, I'll put up a link for his YouTube video. He's, you should watch his stuff. Plus, you get a chance to see what India li is, looks like because he, he shows where he lives and as he's going around doing plants and showing how to, how to grow plants. And that's something that's going to be important. We're going to need to know how to grow plants in space. That's for sure. And then there's this other student who, who my buddy, um, who my buddy um, uh, Alonzo in Jamaica has connected with. Alonzo plays football, soccer, and... My friend uh, Farhan plays f football. He's supposed to be fantastic. This is him. I've talked about him before. And so we've connected. And now, now he's working on, on being the best football player that he can be. And that is soccer. What we call soccer is actually called football. So these big important things happen as a consequence of this show. And you're part of that. Keeping you all up to date. We're getting ready for an adventure. We're crossing the country. We're on the west coast of the United States and we're moving to the east coast. That's the whole other side. We're going to the state of Florida. We're going to go move, moving to Cape Canaveral. I've never been there before. Excuse me. <laughs> I've been there a ton of times. I've never lived there before. I've been there a ton of times. I think there's some, some uh, smudge on my glasses. Pow, pow. Hold on. Let's see if I can find a tissue. Huh? That's all right. We're going to go with smooch glasses today. So that is it. That's all the news. Like, it, that's pretty big news. It's funny because usually I'm a lot louder, but there's so much echo in here. Oh, 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 oh. <whistles> Echoey. And this is going to be our, our, I believe it's our last recording from Spaceship Studio here in, in, uh, in, and, and look, you know, remember the stuff that we grew, the, the, the um, space plants outside. So here's, here's our ginger. Look, our ginger. Look, remember the ginger we planted? Look at that. That's great. Good job, ginger. And then over here, we planted a, a nectarine. Like from a, and look, it's growing from my uh, Trader Joe's candy, candy container. Like good stuff is happening. I've had all these plants. Look how, how how healthy. Like this is our space plant. These these plants have made guest starring appearances before. Space plant and and uh, so and this has been our outside adventure when we go when we uh, go outside the spaceship studio. You've been here. We've done this. I'm proud of you. Thanks for being part of this adventure. And now we're going on to the next. Wow! <laughs> like even the blue blue tape is gone that we taped out the the space that the Apollo, how big the Apollo lunar lander was initially. There's 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 the rolls of blue tape. That's how we did it. Oh my gosh! Wow, so good. So, thanks. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for listening. This entire time. Thank you. Thank you for listening so well that I got inspired to get on today and let you know where we're at and what's coming up. Thank you for, for making, for adding value to my life. You have done that. Wow. Thank you. Gosh, it's landing for me right now. I'm kind of getting choked up. I'm really proud of you. You've dedicated yourself this entire time to be here. Thank you. Now, like, we're almost through a, a solid year of pandemic together. And we got big things coming up, so you stick around. I am proud of you. When I, when I tell people how much I love you, you. When I tell people how much I love you, I'm like, I, I have a YouTube channel. I tell my friends I have a YouTube channel. I say, I've got these viewers. 
who mean the world to me. Like they, I think they're gonna be the next important people to go to space. The way they interact with me, it's, imp it's important. They're intelligent, they're inspired. They inspire me, you inspire me. See what a good job you're doing already? Imagine what is possible in the future. If you're doing such a good job already, imagine what you are gonna manifest, humanifest, develop, bring forth in the future, okay? I want you to remember that. I want you to think about that. Keep that in mind. We're gonna have another episode coming up and I won't be in California, Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles anymore. I'll be in Cape Canaveral. We will be in Cape Canaveral together and we're gonna see rocket launches. You got that? You ready for this? Y'all ready for this? I'm ready for you. The future is ready for you. Keep up the good work. In the words of my people, get ready for it. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs>